Iowa Live. From the Carl Chevrolet Studios in West Des Moines, welcome to Iowa Live on this Monday. And boy, we have an exciting program for you today. First off, out of the blocks, folks, we have some very special guests joining us and a special creation. Take a look at this, everybody. This is a robot, and we have a Nathan Steimel here from Science Iowa, Rishu Sharma, and Eli Wilhelm. These are folks that actually built and programmed this robot. We'll talk all about Nathan. Welcome to the program. Hi, yeah, so I'm a board member with Science Iowa. We're a nonprofit that was created in 2019 uh, when our founders realized that Central Iowa has all these amazing science opportunities, um, but there's not that uh, not much awareness in the public for these amazing science opportunities. So in 2019, we decided to host the Science Festival Trail. Uh, it's a celebration of science where we have all these amazing science organizations come to West Moyne Rack and River Park and they show off their amazing inventions. Okay, so that's what it's called. That's what we're talking about here, folks. It's the Science Festival Trail, and it's going to be on Father's Day. So if you're looking for something to do on Father's Day, Nathan, this could be a perfect uh, to get out and enjoy the outdoors a little bit and see some really neat creations. Right, yeah. So it's going to be hosted 1 to 4 p.m. on Father's Day, and we're going to have lots of free food, so free hot dogs, free popcorn, free water, and there's going to be amazing um, events and organizations there such as uh, Neil Smith Wildlife uh, Refuge and Des Moines um, Botanical Gardens and the Blank Park Zoo. Yeah, so but every, again, if it's if the word science is involved with the organization, they're going to be out there right. uh, showing off their words. But it's just the, the trail, so you just go around the trail and you'll be able to encounter a couple of different projects, uh, more than a couple different projects than some of these students have created. Now, uh, let's talk to our gentleman here who actually put this robot together. Does uh, Rishu, does this robot have a name or not? Or is it just uh, a number? Uh, it, its name is Brassica, which is Latin for cabbage. <laughs> for cabbage? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't even know if I want to find out what that means. Uh, but th what part did you have in, in this creation? Uh, so I programmed and I uh, designed some parts of it for the robot to run in the competition. All right, and, and Eli, what was your role in this? Uh, I was one of the main builders building the robot and making sure that it all stays together and it runs properly. Okay, now where, where, where do you guys go to school? We go to Northwest. Okay, uh, over in? Waukee. Waukee, all right, let's give you an idea. How long did it take to build this, Eli? Uh, 30 some hours, I think. 30 some hours. How many people were involved in your team? Because um, your team, how do you say your team name in Latin? Do you know how to say that or not? I think that Rishu got this one. <laughs> Deus ex mach machina. Machina, machina, there you go. Perfect, so this is your team 2180 uh, is the number that you have on here. Now, what did you design this machine to do? What did you design this robot to do in the competition? So, so our robot is designed to pick up cones and put them on uh, poles of various heights to score points in a competition. Okay, and you just finished that up? You just finished your season, is that right? Yeah. Okay, did we do okay? Yep. Uh, <laughs> what, what do you think, Eli? I think that we did as well as we were going to. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of surprised with how far we made it, but I'm, pr right. I'm proud of our team. Well, good. I, I would be proud of it, too, just getting it to operate. Now, let's see. Uh, it takes two people to operate this, from what we understand. Show everybody how you operate this. You have joysticks here, and right. one person is the driver, and the other person operates the, the mechanism, the pickup mechanism. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. Show us how this works, and explain as you're going. Okay. Uh, go ahead. All right. So... You've got okay. Yes. Yeah, so Eli, turn turn this thing around here. If you, there you go. Perfect. So my left joystick controls like where I'm moving around the field, and my right joystick is turning the robot in directions. That's all that I really have for controls. Okay. And then, and then I've got a few controls to open and close this claw. Okay. And to move it up precisely, and also. There's some hotkeys for the various heights of the poles. Oh, okay. That we score on. All right, so just pick up a couple of these cones. See if you can stack a couple of these cones, okay? Since, since we don't have a competition pole here. Oh! oh. <laughs> Try to drop it from high. Okay, pick it up. Now, now move it around. See if you can lower it down. Ah, okay. Reach you. Okay, try I'm one blanking. more time. It's on TV. Okay, no, you're okay. Now hold it. Now just hold it. Don't let go. Don't let go. Now see if you can move it over. See if you can stack it. Here we go. 
a little further. Oh, can, can you grab it? See Down a tiny bit. Yep. There we go. Round of applause. Everybody in the studio, round of applause. Come on now. You did it, so you got to get yeah. a bonus point for stacking the cone. That is really cool. One more time, let's give everybody uh, up to speed on how they can see this and, and how many other robots are going to be out there. Yeah, we're going to have over 12 different organizations. 12, wow, yeah. okay. Yeah, so it's going to be Sunday, again, 1 to 4 p.m. at Raccoon River Park in West Des Moines, Iowa. All right, so we're going out there, no cost to get in? No cost, Okay, yeah. so again, looking for something to do on Father's Day? This could be the ideal thing to do and something a little bit different. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, and congratulations on your, uh, give me a shake of hand there, everybody. Good, good job on your creation of your robot thank and you. a nice demonstration. And Nathan, thank you so much yeah, thank for you. being here. If people want to get more information, just Google sign. Science Festival Trail, and you'll be able to find all the information about a really cool event, seeing some robots that some young men and women created uh, here in central Iowa.